when the leaves turn to red, orange, and yellow, and chilly winds come whipping across our state from the north, that's the best time to reach for a cozy wool sweater or scarf. When you think of good wool fiber, maybe you picture sheep on stony cliffs in Scotland, or beautiful alpacas in the mountains of Peru. But we have plenty of high quality local wool available right here in Minnesota. Today I'm at Shepherd's Bay Farm in Alexandria to talk with Kathy Sledo, who raises sheep, llamas, and rabbits with her husband to produce local fibers and make several beautiful handicrafts which they sell online. Right now about 20 some sheep. Normally we have uh, between probably 30 to 50 sheep, Shetland mostly and I've got close to 40 angora rabbits that we raise for fiber and three guard llamas. We uh, sell a lot of it to hand spinners and weavers. Probably the most of our raw wool is sold to uh, people that spin it or weave it and then what we don't sell that way we send it to a small mill and it's spun into yarn. I think it's important to know where the wool comes from a lot of people we, that even when we sell it down in the Twin Cities, they come out to the farm to visit. They like to see the animals that it came from. They like to see how the animals are raised. It's nice that they're out on pasture where it's not a confinement operation. They live a pretty natural life. We've been breeding sheep for close to 25 years and we keep those, keep the lambs of the ewes that have the nicest wool. So we've been building our flock for a long time, just for uh, wool quality. So, if you're a crafter or looking to learn more about making clothes with wool, you only need to look around our backyard. For more great ideas on local fiber, please go to minnesotagrown.com for a link to Shepherd's Bay and for more information about the Minnesota Fiber Festival held each year in Minneapolis.